Hi students. So today I'm going to explain how to determine the frequency of the given AC current using sonometer. So sonometer having a wire of linear density mu and uh, the one end of the sonometer wire is connected here. The another end is connected with the mass M with the help of a pulley. So we have a two knife edges here. So using this sonometer, we are, we are going to find the frequency of the given AC current. So first I will explain the theory part. So now we are going to determine the frequency of the alternating current using sonometer. So we have AC frequency. Mu A. So we have a sonometer with the wire of length L. So this end is connected with the pulley, and we have a mass M here. So the downward force is my M into G. The upward force is tension. So we have two knife edges in the sonometer. So the distance between the knife edges is to be L. So my tension I can simply write T equals to M into G. So the sonometer frequency is given by mu equals to 1 by 4 L root T by mu. So I can take, so where T is my tension on the string, tension where mu is nothing but my linear mass density of the sonometer wire, of the wire where L, small l is the length of the vibrating segment, length of the vibrating segment. So the S unit of tension is Newton, the linear mass density kilogram per meter here this is in meter so now i'm going to define what is mean by linear mass density so my mu is nothing but the mass of the wire divided by the total length of the wire so the mass of the wire i can simply write rho into v so mass equals to density into volume so I may write rho into V divided by L. So I can simply write my volume as rho into A into L divided by L. L, L gets cancelled. Then my linear mass density simply write density of the wire and your area cross section of the wire pi r square. Where the rho is the density of the steel wire we are using here. Density of the steel wire. is 7800 kilogram per meter cube. So where R is the radius of the wire. So how to find the radius of the wire? So we are going to use screw gauge to find the radius of the wire. So we have already uploaded a video how to find the radius of the wire using screw gauge. I will give the link in the description so the sonometer we are using with the radius of the wire i can simply write e r equals to 0 0.26 into 10 power minus 3 meters 
So if you're substituting these values, I'm able to find my mu equals to 7800 into 3.14 into 0 0.26 into 10 power minus 3 the whole square then we are able to find your linear mass density of this given wire is 16.6 .6 into 10 power minus 4 kilogram per meter so the linear mass density of the given wire is a constant so the sonometer frequency nu is inversely proportional to the length and directly proportional to the root square root of the tension. So, if I vary my tension as well as length, I am able to vary the frequency of the sonometer. So, if I am varying my frequency of the sonometer wire, at a particular frequency, we are getting maximum vibration or maximum amplitude in the string. So, at a particular and that particular frequency, my sonometer frequency that is exactly equals to the the applied external frequency is my alternating current frequency so this condition is called resonance condition resonance condition so resonance condition is nothing but the natural frequency whenever the natural frequency of the system is equal to the net applied external frequency the amplitude of the system will be maximum so now we are going to form a table to find the alternating current frequency. So first we are going to vary the tension value. Tension in Newton. And the length of the string. So by varying tension and length of the string, we are going to find the frequency. So here this is in meters. So your frequency is depending upon 1 over 4 root T by mu. So now we are going to perform the experiment. So the sonometer frequency is depending upon the tension on the string and the distance between the knife edges. So by varying the tension on the string as well as the length of the uh, length between the knife edges, I am able to vary the frequency of the sonometer. So my AC sonometer is fixed. So I have mass 500 gram here. Already we have a hanger with the 500 gram. So I'm going to add this with the here. So now my tension is 1 kilogram into G. Okay. So now I'm going to vary the length of the knife edge. So I'm going to vary this. So we have to vary slowly. See, there is a vibration of the string which will be maximum at this particular point. So now the AC frequency that is balanced by the the sonometer frequency. So now the system is in the resonance condition. The sonometer frequency is exactly equal to the AC frequency. So now you are able to see the vibration in the string. So now I am going to take the distance between the two knife edges using this scale. So the distance between two knife edges will be 40 centimeter. So I am going to note it down 40 centimeter. 40 centimeter. So now I am going to increase one more 500 grams. If I increase the mass here, the tension of the string also gets increases. If my tension gets increases, 
the length also will vary so i am going to vary the see now there is a maximum vibration strength so there is a are able to see the noise so now the sonometer frequency now the sonometer frequency is exactly equal to the the ac frequency so now the system is in resonance condition so the distance between these two should be 49 cm so i'm going to note it down here 49 cm so now i'm going to add one more 500 grams so the tension of the string varied so the length of the string uh, length between the knife edges also will vary so now i'm going to do this see there is a maximum amplitude there's a maximum vibration here so you can observe the sound here so now the system is in resonance condition so i'm going to measure the distance between two knife edges is it be 56 centimeter 56 cm now i'm going to add one more 500 gram so now the tension will increased so now we have a 1 to 2.5 kg now i'm going to vary the distance between the knife edges see note this now there is a vibration of the string so now the frequency of the sonometer that is exactly equal to the frequency of the ac source so now i'm going to measure the distance between two knife edges it should be 60 2.5 approximately so the length will be 62.5 cm so i will explain the calculation part step by step mm -hmm. so where tension t equals to m into g or 1 kg my tension will be 1 into 9.8 equals to 9.8 So the length of the string we have measured in centimeters. So I can simply put this into 10 power minus 2 meters. So I may write first uh, for 1 kg we have a length 40 into 10 power minus 2 meters. So the frequency for the 1 kg mass. So I can simply write. 1 by 4 into 40 into 10 power minus 2 the tension on the string is 9.8 divided by 16.6 into 10 power minus 4 so if you are solving this you will get the result of 48.0 So my frequency is in hertz. Let me write here. So 48.0 to hertz. So next I'm going to solve for the mass of 1.5 kg. So for 1.5 kg into 9.8 equals to 14.7. The balancing length for this is 49. So the frequency for this 
I can simply write 1 by 4 into 49 into 10 power minus 2 square root of 14.7 14.7 divided by 16.6 into 10 power minus 4 so this will become approximately 48 Hz so next I am going to solve for the 2 kg mass so 2 into 9.8 is 19.6 is my tension for the 2 kg mass. So the length is 56 centimeter, 56 into 10 power minus 2. The frequency I may write 1 over 4 into 56 into 10 power minus 2. So the tension is 19.6 divided by 16.6 into 10 power minus 4. So the frequency for this is 48.4 hertz so now i'm going to solve for 2.5 kg is into 9.8 it is equal to 23.5 is 62 point sorry 62.5 5 centimeter so I may write the frequency equals to 1 by 4 into 62.5 into 10 power minus 2 square root of 23.5 divided by 16.6 into 10 power minus 4 so for this the frequency will be 47.5 Hertz so if I am taking the average value of this frequency is approximately 48.01 hertz so this is the frequency of the given alternating current this is how we are calculating frequency of a given alternating current using sonometer so i just stop at this point if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the regular updates thank you